the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 24. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. We are a little concerned about the physical condition of the instrument. She has a slight congestion. If you can tell me of the suitability of this session at all, I would appreciate it. I am raw. This instrument's vital energies of the physical complex are low. The session will be appropriately shortened. Questioner, she requests that if it is possible for you to cause the instrument's vehicle to cough at intervals that would help her. Is this possible? I am raw. Please restate query, specifying interval. Questioner, she requests that you cause the instrument to cough about at least after each communication. Is this possible? I am raw. This is possible. Cough. Questioner. Thank you. The way I intend to continue with the book is to follow on through the last 25,000 year cycle that we're in now and possibly investigate a little of fourth density conditions and thereby find many places that we can go back and delve further into the law of one. The first material I expect to be not too deep with respect to the law of one. I hope to get into greater philosophical areas of the law of one in more advanced sessions so as to make the material progress so that it will be understandable. I hope that I'm following the right direction in this. In the last session you mentioned that during this last 25,000 year cycle the Atlanteans, Egyptians, and those in South America were contacted and then the Confederation departed. I understand the Confederation did not come back for some time. Could you tell me of the reasons, and consequences, and attitudes with respect to the next contact with those here on planet Earth? I am raw. In the case of the Atlanteans, Enlargements upon the information given resulted in those activities distorted towards bellicosity which resulted in the final second Atlantean catastrophe 10821, 10,821 of your years in the past, as you measure time. Many, many were displaced due to societal actions both upon Atlantis and upon those areas of what you would call North African deserts to which some Atlanteans had gone after the first conflict. Earth changes continue due to these, what you would call nuclear bombs and other crystal weapons, sinking the last great land masses approximately 9600, 9600 of your years ago. In the Egyptian and the South American experiments results, though not as widely devastating, were as far from the original intention of the Confederation. It was clear to not only us but also to the Council and the Guardians that our methods were not appropriate for this particular sphere. Our attitude thus was one of caution, observation, and continuing attempts to creatively discover methods whereby contact from our entities could be of service with the least distortion and above all with the least possibility of becoming perversions or antitheses of our intentions in sharing information. Questioner, could you have the instrument cough? Please? Cough. Questioner. Thank you. Then I assume the Confederation stayed away from Earth for a period of time. What condition created the next contact the Confederation made? I am raw. In approximately 3600, 3600 of your years in the past, as you measure time, there was an influx of those of the Orion group as you call them. Due to the increasing negative influences upon thinking and acting distortions, they were able to begin working with those whose impression from olden times, as you may say, was that they were special and different. An entity of the Confederation, many, many thousands of your years in the past, the one you may call Yahweh, had, by genetic cloning, set up these particular biases among these peoples who had come gradually to dwell in the vicinity of Egypt, as well as in many, many other places, by dispersion after the down-sinking of the land mass mu. Here the Orion group found fertile soil in which to plant the seeds of negativity, these seeds, as always, being those of the elite, the different, those who manipulate or enslave others. The one known as Yahweh felt a great responsibility to these entities. However, the Orion group had been able to impress upon the peoples the name Yahweh as the one responsible for this elitism. Yahweh then was able to take what you would call stock of its vibratory patterns and became, in effect, a more eloquently effective sound vibration complex. In this complex the old Yahweh, now unnamed, but meaning he comes, began to send positively oriented philosophy. This was approximately, in your past, up to we correct this instrument 3300. 3,300 years. Thus, the intense portion of what has become known as Armageddon was joined. Questioner, could you create another cough for us, please? Cough. Questioner, 
Thank you. I have a question about how the Orion group got in 3,600 years ago. How did they get through the quarantine? Was that a random window effect? I am raw. At that time this was not entirely so, as there was a proper calling for this information. When there is a mixed calling the window effect is much more put into motion by the ways of the densities. The quarantine in this case was, shall we say, not patrolled so closely, due to the lack of strong polarity, the windows thus needing to be very weak in order for penetration. As your harvest approaches, those forces of what you would call light work according to their call. The ones of Orion have the working only according to their call. This calling is in actuality not nearly as great. Thus, due to the way of empowering all squares there is much resistance to penetration. Yet free will must be maintained and those desiring negatively oriented information, as you would call it, must then be satisfied by those moving through by the window effect. Cough. Questioner, then Yahweh, in an attempt to correct what he saw as what I might call a mistake, I know you don't want to call it that, started 3,300 years ago with the positive philosophy. Were both the Orion and Yahweh were philosophies impressed telepathically, or were there other techniques used? I am raw. There were two other techniques used, one by the entity no longer called Yahweh, who still felt that if it could raise up entities which were superior to the negative forces, that these superior entities could spread the law of one. Thus this entity, Yod Hall, Shin Val Hall, came among your people in form according to incarnate being and mated in the normal reproductive manner of your physical complexes, thus birthing a generation of much larger beings, these beings called Anak. The other method used to greater effect later in the scenario, as you would call it, was the thought forms such as we often use among your peoples to suggest the mysterious or the sublime. You may be familiar with some of these appearances. Questioner, could you state some of those after making the instrument cough, please? Cough. I am raw. This is information which you may discover. However, we will briefly point the way by indicating the so-called wheel within a wheel and the cherubim with sleepless eye. Questioner, very good. Did the Orion group use similar methods for their impression 3,600 years ago? I am raw. The group or empire had an emissary in your skies at the time. Questioner, can you describe that emissary? This emissary was of your fiery nature which was hidden by the nature of cloud in the day. This was to obliterate the questions of those seeing such a vehicle and to make it consonant with these entities' concept of what you may call the creator. Questioner, and then how was the impression or information passed on to the entities after they saw this fiery cloud? I am raw. By thought transfer and by the causing of fiery phenomena and other events to appear as being miraculous through the use of thought forms. Questioner, then were there any prophets that we have now recorded that sprung from this era or soon after it? I am raw. Those of the Empire were not successful in maintaining their presence for long after the approximate 3000-3008 in your history and were, perforce, left with the decision to physically leave the skies. The so-called prophets were often given mixed information, but the worst that the Orion group could do was to cause these prophets to speak of doom, as prophecy in those days was the occupation of those who love their fellow beings and wish only to be of service to them and to the Creator. Questioner, after making the instrument cough, cough. Questioner, could you tell me if you're saying the Orion group was successful in polluting, shall we say, some of the positively oriented prophets with messages of doom? I am raw. This is correct. Your next query shall be the last full query for this session. Questioner, could you tell me why the Orion group had to leave after, I believe, it figures to be a 600-year period, why they had to vacate? I am raw. Although the impression that they had given to those who called them, was that these entities were an elite group, that which you know as diaspora occurred causing much dispersion of these people so that they became an humbler and more honorable breed, less bellicose and more aware of the loving kindness of the one creator. The creation about them tended towards being somewhat bellicose, somewhat oriented towards the enslavement of others, but they themselves, the target of the Orion group by means of their genetic superiority weakness, became what you may call the underdogs, thereby letting the feelings of gratitude for their neighbors, their family, and their one creator begin to heal the feelings of elitism which led to the distortions of power over others which had caused their own bellicosity. Any short queries may be asked now. Questioner, there's one thing that's been bothering me a little bit which I was just reading about. Cough. Questioner, it's not too important, 
but I would really be interested to know if Dwight Eisenhower met with either the Confederation or the Orion Group during the 1950s or the time I am raw. The one of which you speak met with thought forms which are indistinguishable from third density. This was a test. We, the Confederation, wish to see what would occur if this extremely positively oriented and simple congenial person with no significant distortions towards power happened across peaceful information and the possibilities which might depend therefrom. We discovered that this entity did not feel that those under his care could deal with the concepts of other beings and other philosophies. Thus an agreement reached then allowed him to go his way, ourselves to do likewise. And a very quiet campaign, as we have heard you call it, be continued alerting your peoples to our presence gradually. Events have overtaken this plan. Cough. Is there any short query before we close? Questioner, the only other question that went with that is, was there a crashed spaceship and are there small bodies now stored in our military installations? I am raw. We do not wish to infringe upon your future. Gave we you this information, we might be giving you more than you could appropriately deal with in the space-time nexus of your present somewhat muddled configuration of military and intelligence thought. Therefore, we shall withhold this information. Questioner, okay. Sorry to bother you with these type of questions. Cough. Questioner, but they were just bothering me. We will continue in our next session with the law of one and keep that uppermost in the scope of the book and try to get more deeply into the philosophy as we build a framework for reference to the philosophy. Thank you very much. Questioner, oh, please, I'm almost ready. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? I am raw. You are conscientious. Be careful only to adjust this instrument's upper appendages if its upper body is elevated. I am raw. All is well. It is our joy to speak with you. We live in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. End of session 24.